Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union, where to, we're going to broadcast today's baseball game between the Blue Devils from Williamstown and their Wildcats of Hazen. Williamstown comes in at 0-3, having lost to Richford. And they also lost to Danville the other day by a score of 22 to nothing. Um, so it looks like they may be having a down year this year a little bit, a little rebuilding year. Hazen comes in fresh off a 6-2 win last Saturday against a Division II Montpelier team where um, for the first time that Hazen took the field, Mike, they looked pretty good. They did. They did, John. Um, they came right in, and, and their pitching was strong. Um, defensively, they looked really, really solid in the field on last Saturday. So hopefully that will continue today for the Wildcats. Um, talking with Coach Howard this morning, he's hoping to get their bats going a little bit more than they were last Saturday. And Coach Rivard said they've done a lot of hitting work over the course of the, of the week. And so they're hoping to get that going a little bit more um, in this game today. Yeah, that was the only concern that he had when I talked to him was they, they were held to four hits, but they were aggressive on the bases. He was real happy with the defense, had a couple of miscues in the infield, but the outfield led by Jaden Baker really, really turned it on, made some outstanding catches, some good throws, and uh, James Montgomery had a play at the plate that just showed how tough defensively he can be. Um, the Hazen boys have taken the field, so <clears throat> very quickly I'll give you the lineup for Williamstown. Number seven, Isaac Sweet is in left field leading off. Number 15, Brady Donahue at shortstop is batting second. Number 19, Colby Lagener is playing third and batting third. Number one, Jamison Lacerno is pitching. Number 12, Brent Jangra is at first base. Number eight, Q Horis is the catcher. Number seven, Lucas Donahue is playing second base. And number 30, Jack Keyes is in right field with number 11, Caleb Keogh in center field. And on the mound for the Wildcats today, it's Lyle Rooney, who was their opening day starter last Saturday. I think he pitched, was it five innings? Five no innings. hit ball last Saturday. So he started off great and then looking to continue that today. So here we are. The batter is Isaac Sweet. He'll be leading off. Rooney winds up. Here's the first pitch outside. Ball one. Yeah, Rooney, uh, it'll be interesting to see how far he goes today. Uh, if they happen to get a good lead in the game, they may take him out because they do have a tough people's game coming up here next week. Yeah, they'd love to have Rooney available for that. Oh, that was a little inside, but it looked pretty good. 2-0, this count. Boy, a little bit more chilly today than it was last Saturday, yeah, isn't it, John? It is. Yeah, it is. It's a swing and a foul ball. Brings the count to 2-1. and one. Again, this is Isaac Sweet leading off, playing left field. One thing about these high school games, Mike, when they get started, they go. They don't need a pitch clock. They do. They do. <laughs> they're, they're ready to go. And wind up the 2-1 pitch. There's a ground ball to short. Oh, bobbled over there by Rebard. And uh, Isaac Sweet is on first base. Tough bounce there for Rebard. Kind of let the ball play him a little bit. Yeah. Yep. So Hazen will look to uh, turn two maybe here if they can. Let's see if uh, the guy from Williamstown takes off and tests Montgomery arm, Montgomery's arm right off. This is number 15, Brady Donahue, shortstop. Resets, here's the pitch, runner's not going, ball's, oh, called a strike. Given the high strike today. Of course, uh, Donahue's kind of a tall player, so he's got a little bigger strike zone out there. And you see Davison over on first, holding the runner on. Ooh, boy, that was pretty close. That was pretty that close. That was a good looking pitch. It's been a little bit outside. That brings the count to one and one. Rooney working fast out of the stretch. Here's a pitch. There's a swing and a miss. That Rooney had a little extra on that one, John. Yeah, and last game I believe he had seven strikeouts. And uh, looks like he's warming up now. Of course, a little cooler. It's gonna take him a little bit to get warmed up. There's a ground ball. Gonna have to go to first with it. Menard picks it up. It's scooped up there by Davison. Yeah. Very nice play by Menard charging on that. That wasn't an easy one. No, that wasn't. And a good scoop out there. Yep. Davison, that was a great play on both ends. So that's one out now. And this brings up number 17. Okay, I got him as 19. This is Colby Lagener, I believe, playing third base. 
Big, rugged kid here. He is. Rooney sets, throws. Oh, gets a call there, strike one. The Williamstown runner, Isaac Sweet, did advance to second base on that play. So they have a runner in scoring position with one out. The old one pitch. Throws a little off speed there, fooled the header there, caught him looking. Had his knees buckling a little bit oh, on that. He didn't expect that. 0-2 now. See what Rooney decides to throw here, see if he comes back with a little off speed or throws the heat. Throws the heat and it's a wild pitch. Runner's taking off. He took off late, there's the throw. Oh, they're gonna have him. They got him. Uh, boy, that runner did get a late break and Montgomery gunned it down. Good yeah, throw from nice James. Nice throw, had, uh, had the throw waiting there. Menard was just waiting with the tag. Yeah, beat, beat him by seven or eight feet on that yeah. one. One thing you wanna watch out about, opposing teams don't know this, but the backstop's very close to home plate here. So sometimes it's hard to advance on a wild pitch. Oh, strike three, caught him, looking, buckled him again. Those yeah. two off-speed pitches fooled him, and uh, that ends a half inning for Williamstown, and they come up short, and Hazen will be coming up to bat. You're hearing me okay? Yeah. This, keep adjusting this thing. It's like yeah. moving around. And... Well, we got a quick minute here. Let me give you today's sponsors. First of all, you're watching us. I'm John Lucier, and this is Mike Baker. And we're going to bring you all the action today. You're watching us on HCTV, channel 1080. Or you can stream it at www.hctv.us. Today we're being sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC, Jumpstart your future, and they are putting out applications right now for any GMTCC programs, and they got a ton of them. Very well-known program down there. Today, the Hazen Union Wildcats are taking on the Williamstown Blue Devils, who come in William, uh, winless at 0-3. Uh, Hazen looking to jump on them quickly if they can here, because they got a big game coming up next week. I believe it's Tuesday, Mike. I'm not sure, but I think it's Tuesday. They do. Hey, does that game at Peoples, or is it here? It, you know, you know, I'm not sure. I think it's, I think it's there. But, I'm not sure. Um, but a big game with Peoples, and you know who they're going to be facing, probably. Oh yeah, he's a Ben is a great pitcher for them over there. That's he, for sure. Uh, the last report I had on him was he was hitting low 90s. Yeah. With his fastball. Yeah, and he has he has good off-speed stuff, good curveball. Yeah. Yep. And for the Wildcats today, we have Jaden Baker leading off in center field, followed by Tyler Rivard, our shortstop. Batting third, James Montgomery, our catcher. Cleanup is Lyle Rooney pitching today. Batting fifth, Andrew Menard at third base. Batting sixth, Dan DeGroslier in right field. Batting seventh, Jacob um, Davison, our first baseman. Batting eighth, Jacob Hayden, our um, left fielder, making his first um, varsity appearance today. And playing second base um, is Brendan Moody. So we have a good lineup going today. And like, like we were saying, John, um, Coach Howard hoping to get the bats going today. Yeah, they only had four base hits, scored six runs, but uh, part of it was because of their aggressiveness on the bases. They were taking extra bases, they were stealing, making the other team make plays and uh, cause a little damage out there. Yeah, we've got some good speed up and down the lineup. Yeah. All right, so Jaden Baker leading off here for Hazen. This is Jamison Lacerno on, Lacerno on the mound. First pitch is a ball low. Baker looking to get on base to kind of set the table for the next hitter. Pitch is way high, ball two. If you watched the game last week, you saw Jaden Baker have several put outs in center field, one over the shoulder catch that he judged and one going into right field where the ball was tailing away from him but his speed took him there and then he made that throw to start that relay on that great play to uh oh james made to it, home, oh, it. Yeah, yeah yeah caught the ball on the bounce and turned around and the runner ran right into him got tagged great play that was a great great play, play. there's a swing and a miss brings the count to three and one 
may have swung at ball four he on that might one, have on he, that one he was looking to drive one somewhere three and one he'll be a little more selective this time here's the pitch fouled it off hanging tough that brings a count back from three and oh to three and two we'll see what happens here Pitcher's thrown mostly fastballs so far. Let's see if he comes in. It's hard to come in with off speed on three and two, though. It is. The wind up. Here's the pitch. Ooh, right on the outside corner. Jaden Baker watched it go by. Yeah, you never want to let that third strike go by. Got to protect the plate, knock it off the line, do something, foul it off. So that's a first strikeout for Sweet, uh, for uh, Lucerno. And this brings up Tyler Rebard. There's an off-speed pitch. Ooh, looked pretty yeah, good across there. Good. <laughs> Rebard, you know, with a mammoth home run last game. He did. He crushed that. One. Put it out to the leaves, way out there by the bank. Oh, there's a drive to right field. The right fielder came in, now it's over his head. And he, Tyler's gonna run for a while. He's gonna end up with at least three. Touches second. Oh boy. Oh, bobbled out there. Bobbled out there. The Revard leads off with a triple. Oh, he's, no, oh, he could have almost made that. He almost went home, but he stopped at third, playing it safe. So Tyler Revard again with a big bat. Yeah, he got that one, John, got it up in the wind. Spraying it to all fields. That one was right to right field over the right fielder's head. Who do we have up now, Mike? We have James Montgomery. James catcher. Montgomery, the catcher. Looking to bring that duck on the pond right into the yeah. home plate here. James looking to get going. Runner on third. He puts us in play any, anywhere, we're gonna get one. We're gonna game, get one. Rebriar's coming down that line. Pitcher's working from the stretch to hold him a little closer. Oh, there's a rat. Center fielder may have that, may not either. It's Oh, it's over his head. Rebriar's gonna score. Montgomery is gonna head to third, gonna make it easily, standing up, and that's back-to-back -back triples by Tyler Rebriar and James Montgomery. Yep, the center fielder looked like he had a beat on it. Flew over his head, crushed by James there. They are tagging this guy. Yep, James, solid contact there. And Rooney looking to help his own cause here, John, with a runner at third. Lyle Rooney, if he can put the ball into play, the runner on third will probably score. Here's a nice pitch, he watched it go by, strike one, but right off the bat with back-to-back -back triples, Hazen quickly takes a one-nothing lead. And the coaches have got to be happy with what they've seen on the bat so far. <laughs> the last two batters after Baker's strikeout have really crushed it. There's a ground ball in the hole to second, it's gonna go through for a base hit to right field. Finding a hole there by Rooney, perfect. Good piece of hitting Good there. piece Find of hitting. Pitch. And right off the bat, Hazen ups the lead two to nothing with only one out here, top of the uh, bottom of the first. I got beat the other day. And here comes Andrew Bernard trying to keep it rolling here. Rooney may be looking to go pretty early. Here. Rooney's got good wheels. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they're going to test him. He's got a good lead over there. Pitcher's yeah. working from the stretch. Pitcher steps off. Rooney dies back. I gotta believe Williamstown knows a little bit about Hazen speed, so they're gonna be uh, watching for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Here's the pitch, Rooney goes. Taken all the way by Menard, throw down a second, it's left a second base, and Rooney slides in safe. Yeah, in there easily for a while. I think he had it beat on a good throw, too. Oh, he had a great jump on it with yeah, his speed. speed. Yeah. You're right, John, even a good throw he made. And that was, a, that was a play that had to be on because Menard just stood there and looked at that ball go oh, by. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Andrew will be looking to hit. But watch Rooney. Watch Rooney. He's just liable to take off going to third. He is. Second baseman's not getting over there very fast. Now he goes over. Hey. 
I'll tell you, any ball in the air, Mike, with the wind the way it's blowing, could be tricky. That's for sure. Oh, Bernard watches one go inside, strike one. Brings the count to one and one. Cerno working from the stretch. There's a pitch. There's a wrap to third baseman. Oh, he bobbles it. Ro Rooney takes second. Third baseman has no play at all. Andrew Menard beats it out. Yep, good job by Andrew putting it into play, forcing Williams down to have to try to make a play there. Yeah, and I think the third baseman took his eyes off it just a hair watching Rooney come around. He did. Yeah, and yeah, Rooney, when he, uh, when he saw that the third baseman had bobbled it, cut into third base easily. So now Hazen's got runners at first and third. With Dan DeGrosier up for our left, or our right field. One out, watch right for Menard field. to take second. There he goes. But, oh, put into play there, bobbled again by the third baseman. And Rooney comes in to score. Dan DeGrosier putting the ball into play, beats it out at first base. That puts Menard on second, and Hazen on top, three to nothing. Good hustle down the line there by Dan, put, putting pressure on the third baseman to have to come up with it quickly. And Jake Davison up our third baseman. Jake made a good pick on a throw back in the first inning. Absolutely. Ooh, he wanted that one, he almost went. He wished he had him now, but that's strike one. A little base hit will score Menard. Menard is getting a good secondary lead over there. Ball low, brings the count one and one. That background wind you hear isn't because I'm short of breath and breathing hard. That is the wind up here. Mike. It is whipping. <laughs> it is whipping today. Here's the one-one pitch. Swung on and missed. Good swing by Jake. Yes, missing it. Swing at that. Brings the count to one and two. One out. Hazen on top. Three to nothing here. Bottom of the first. Runners at first and third. Uh, first and second. Swung on and missed. Yep. Good attack by Davison. Good swing there, just not quite coming up with it. So that makes two outs, a little off speed pitch here. He was out ahead of it. We have our left fielder, Jacob Hayden. And this is Jake's first varsity at bat, so we're gonna have some butterflies going. Oh, I'm sure, especially with runners on base. First pitch is low and inside. Good eye there. Do you know what year he is in school, Mike? He's a freshman. 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 Just like Owen last week. Yeah. Owen Scorston. Yeah, that's good that the coaches are working in the freshman. Yeah. Getting them in there a little bit. Nice pitch there. Brings the count to one and one. Williamstown looking to get out of this jam down three to nothing already. Would like to stop the damage right here if they could. And Jake looking to put one into play, put some pressure on the defense. A little, bit, there. a little bit inside. Got Brendan Woody over there waiting on deck. Boy, if he uh, happened to work a walk or get a base hit, that'd be bases loaded for Moody. Nice cut there, though, by the freshman. Yep, good swing. Swing. Didn't get it. Brings the count to two and two. Strike three. Good cut there. The freshman going down on strike. So that ends the inning. But with one inning in the books, the Hazen Union Wildcats are leading the Williamstown Blue Devils three to nothing.
Like you just stop for a minute. You just stop for a minute. Yes. Okay, we're in the top of the second here. Williamstown down three to nothing. The pitcher up right now, number one, Jamison Lacerno, already behind, strike one. Rooney working fast on this cold, chilly day. Oh, beautiful fastball right there. And he had some mustard on that one. Good you start, heard. yeah, good start for Rooney. Heard you the glove pop in there. Heard the glove pop on that one. So quickly, Lacerno's down 0-2. Rooney, a little off speed, ground ball to Menard at third. Foul ball down the line. It was close. Menard that did make a good stop over there, though. That was close. That was close, but went by the bag and foul ground. Good range by Andrew getting over there to pick that up. Hazen's defense looking pretty good so far this year. It is. The one and two, oh and two pitch coming. Strike three. Good pitch by Rooney. Another fastball a little, there. A little high fastball. So Rooney with two strikeouts in a row now. And this brings up number 12, Brent Jangra, the first baseman. Rooney working from the stretch a little bit here. Gets ready, throws, ball low. Rooney most of the time does a great job of getting ahead in the counts. And uh, especially last game, boy, he was throwing a ton of strikes. He was. There's a stri That's got to be a yeah. strike right at the knees. I better be careful not call it ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> but that was right at the knees. Yeah. Brings the count to one and one. Beautiful pitch there. That was a nice pitch. That's a pitcher's pitch, too. That one. Oh, boy. That one looked like about in the same spot yeah. there. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I better, not, I better not get to call him. <laughs> Two balls and a strike here to Jangra. Rooney with a pitch. That's a good one. Oh, boy. Boy, that this must be just a hair low or just something. Must, must be. Wasn't not missing by much on those. Count three and one. There's a ground ball. Menard picks it cleanly, throws it to first. He very easily throw, knew the runner wasn't going down the line very fast. Yep. Andrew Menard looking good at third this year. He is, Boy, he is. He is solid over there with the glove. He is, he's got good range too, John, going to his left and right, charging the ball well. He's looking really good over there. And I'll tell you, if you've got, you got a strong third baseman, you're in pretty good shape. He's got a good arm over there too. He nice. does. He's got a gun. So that brings up Hugh Horace, Horace, I guess his name is. And uh, he's the catcher. And he's quickly behind 0 1. Here's the pitch. Ball low. Got a pretty decent crowd here today for a cold morning. Well, one thing about it, Hazen always. Hardwick and the surrounding area always support Hazen Athletics pretty good. Well, and I got to tell you another thing, Mike. I was some impressed with the coaches today. I drove by here at 8.30 this morning, and all three coaches were here, and Joey's wife, Sue, were here, and they were working on the field, getting it all ready and everything. These coaches are dedicated. Oh. Swing and a miss there. Strike two. Very dedicated coaching staff. They, they really know their stuff, too. They Ball outside. We'll see them during the game, giving giving instruction, you know, encouraging kids, helping helping them out with, you know, little pointers throughout the game. They do a great job. Oh, right down the middle, strike three. Good pitch so by Rooney. goes down on strikes. That ends the inning for the Williamstown. So after one and a half innings, it's Hazen three, Williamstown nothing, and that is Rooney's third strikeout. All right, John, we have leading off for Hazen, our second baseman, Brendan Moody. Brendan seems really good this, this season, already early, trying to do the little things to get on base. And plays a strong second base, too. 
Uh, good transfer from Peoples, going to help this squad out a lot, no question about it. I noticed an interesting thing, Mike, and probably a, a real good move when you think about it by the coaching staff. Uh, they started a freshman, but they batted him eighth. They got Moody back ninth, hoping to set the table for the other hitters coming up from the bottom of the order. Yeah, definitely. That's a good move. Definitely a good move. From, good move right yeah. there. Yeah. Ball one to Moody. Hazen on top here, three to nothing, bottom of the second against the Williamstown Blue Devils. Moody looking to get on base here. Oh, ball outside. Moody with a good eye. And uh, Moody's always a threat to bunt. He is. He had a really oh, nice one the last game. Great bunt last game. Swings and misses there. Pulled his head out a little bit there. Yeah, you, big cut on that one. Yeah, that brings the count to two balls and a strike. That's the thing about Brendan. I think he could bunt in any situation. I. I wouldn't be surprised this year if he bunts one time with two strikes just yeah, to catch a defense yeah, off yeah. balance. Ooh, got a piece of it. Yeah, a little ahead on that. A yeah, little off speed pitch. Now he counts two and two. Moody leading off the second here. Nobody out. Two two count. Ball high. Brings the count. Full count. Good job for Moody laying off that high outside pitch. Those are the ones that are tough to lay off. They sometimes. are right at eye level. <laughs> Looks so good. Here's a ground ball back up the middle. Shortstop goes over underneath his glove. Couldn't pick it up. Moody rounds first. So Brendan Moody leads off. Look for him to run on the first pitch. Yeah, he'll be looking to go. We'll see if they put a little play on here with Jaden Baker. Top of the order coming up here for Hazen. He's an almost batting through in the first inning, almost batting through the line up, lineup. Williamstown defense, you can see, is probably not as strong as Hazen's. No. Moody not going. We've had three guys in the first nine reach on errors, so you know, Hazen definitely looking to put the ball in play here and make Williamstown make plays. Baker, his second time around. One and all, there's a pitch. Off speed pitch, lob throw to second. Oh, but he's in there. Yeah, he slid in with a hand tag. Yeah. Now if that throw had been on a line, they probably would have had him. Yeah. Good slide by Moody getting under the tag there. Yeah. Very accurate throw from the Williams It was an accurate catcher. throw. Yeah. Yeah. But now Moody's on second, runner in scoring position for Baker. See if they can bring him around. Counts two balls and no strikes. There's a ball. Oh, hit the inside corner. That's the first strike on Jaden. Ball's high and inside. Brings count three and one now. Baker looking with this wind. If he can put it into play, I'll tell you, anything can happen today. Yeah, it's swirling like crazy out there. Ooh, there's a rip and a foul ball. Uh, hoping to straighten that out this time. That was a good swing by Jaden. <laughs> See what Lucerno comes, Lucerno comes in with a pitch today, right now. Three and two. There's another foul ball. Came in with some heat. That was a pretty good pitch down, but that was. But Baker fouled it off. Here's the pitch. Foul ball out of play. It's going to be, yeah, blows the wind, took it right over out of play. Looks like it was going to go right down the line. It did. That wind took it right out of play. Boy, there is a lot of wind up there. There is a lot of wind. So Baker holding tough in there with a count of three and two. Nobody out. Brendan Moody on second. Baker looking to at least move him over. Hopefully bring him around. 
There's a rip. There's a rip to left field, but a left fielder catches it. Right at him almost. But a nice rip by Baker. Yeah, he hit that one well. Hit that on the screws. Just but it was right, right at, at the, the left fielder. Right at the left fielder. All he had to do was back up a couple of steps. So that's one out. This brings up Rivard. Tyler ripping a triple. His last at bat. There's a pitch. Oh, Rebarn ripped that one. That one's going. That one's going for a way. So Moody's going to score easily. That's over on the bank. Rebarn's going to take three, anyways. Here comes the throw to the shortstop. There'd be no attempt at. And Tyler with another triple. That, Mr. Baker, was a legitimate triple. He hit that one well. That hit one. that on the screws. And if there'd have been a fence, that was probably yeah, over. Yeah, that would have. That would have had a great chance at being over. Yeah, that would have been over. That thing was up on the bank. He ripped it. He did. Really good hustle from their left fielder getting back there. Cause yeah, and a good relay to shore. Yeah. Yep. And here's James Montgomery up, our catcher, who tripled the last time and drove a, our, drove a run in. So he's looking to bring Rivard in. Montgomery looking to make contact here. Hazen on top, four to nothing now. We're in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch to Montgomery. Strike one. Looking at it, pitch he didn't like. Another situation, John, where if James gets this in play, we're likely, Hazen's likely to get a run in here. Yeah, they'll send them. Oh, there's a foul ball. Hazen getting some good wax at the ball today. Um, My guess is Tyler will be on, going on contact Going on here. contact. Yep. Anything that's on the ground, he'll be going. Unless it's back to the pitcher, that might stop him. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wrap up the middle, that's gonna go through for a base hit. Montgomery delivers, rounds first. Tyler Rivera comes in to score, and that makes the score Hazen five, Williamstown nothing. We're still in the bottom of the second, only one out. Yeah, good hitting by Montgomery, and that's his second RBI today, John. He's, He's clutch today. He is. And Lyle Rooney at bat here, who singled his last time up, driving in a run. There goes the runner, Montgomery, the throw. is gonna be late. Yeah, great, great jump by Montgomery there. Hazen having its, uh, having its way on the bases against Williamstown today. Yeah, he got such a good jump on that one. Even a good throw doesn't no, get him there. No, don't get him. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, off the catcher's mitt. But, oh, Montgomery makes it in. He was safe anyways. The third baseman dropped the ball. So now we have a runner at third with one out. And Lyle looking to definitely drive one in here to extend that lead. Counts one and one on Rooney, the pitcher for Hazen. Off speed pitch, oh, that was a nice yeah. pitch. And uh, you can see Rooney <laughs> nodding. He knew it, yep. yep, he knew it. He wasn't looking for it. He knew that was a good pitch. Yeah. Here's the pitch. There's a wrap in the hole between short and third. That brings home Montgomery. Oh, Rooney going halfway to second, he was headed. So another single by Rooney. That ups the score to six to nothing. And Andrew Menard will bat here. Andrew reached on an error his last time. Hazen really swinging the bat much better today. Let's see if Rooney takes off. There he goes. High pitch, almost like a pitch out. Oh, he just beats it. Boy, just beats it but it was uh, almost like a pitch out. And it's probably not a bad call no. if Hazen gets a runner on right. first because you know they're going. You know that. Okay, Menard looking to pick up Rooney at second. Let's see if Rooney goes to third. He may just take her off for third. 
he gets a good lead. Rooney leads off second. Here's the pitch. Menard takes another one high, brings the count to 2-0. Oh. The pitch to Menard. Ball, low, 3-0. and oh. Boy, some of these gusts today, John, make me feel like I'm gonna tip right over backwards. Yeah, it's I should have. Blowing. I should have brought my, yeah, I should have brought my parka. I almost did today, but I figured everybody would laugh, but now I wish I'd brought it. <laughs> There's a 3-0 pitch, taken all the way, takes ball four, so that puts runners on first and second now. One out. And Dan DeGroll's error is up. Dan reached on the errors last time as well. Dan put the ball in play. Oops, we got a timeout and uh, a little conference at the mound here with Williamstown. While they're having that conference, let me thank our sponsors again today. Our sponsors being Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 802-472-5522. They support Hayes and Athletics and by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, and don't forget they got their add-on now. They're putting applications. They're now open for any GMTCC programs, and they got a list of them. We thank the sponsors for allowing us to bring you this broadcast. It always helps. People love to watch it. The players love to go home and watch it after. See what they did right? See what they did wrong? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. The conference, conference is over. Pitcher in. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe Hazen tries to double steal on this one. Oh, possibility. Oh, possibility. Let's see if they put some kind of a play on. Dander Grosley are very capable of putting the ball to the outfield and uh, driving these guys home. Pitch right down the middle, strike one. Now Dan's seen it. Oh, and one to the girls there. Here's a pitch. By, oh, he oh, almost went yeah. for it, but good, he let it go by. Good eye by Dan there. There's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch. Rooney going to third. Oh, he's safe, dropped the ball. And Andrew Menard moved up to second. Yeah, good heads up base running by Menard on that throw to third, moving up. That was a good throw by the Williamstown. Good throw by the Williamstown catcher. catcher. They may have had him. I think they, I think they would have. They but. would have had him. But the third baseman dropped the ball. So now that puts runners at second and third. First base is open, but two runners in scoring position. The count one and two to the girls here. One out. Here's the pitch. High, bring it two and two. Rosley are just looking to put the ball in play and try to drive it somewhere. Big gap over the second baseman's head. Center fielder shaded toward left a little. Off speed pitch is high, brings the count now three and two. One out. The three two pitch. Oh, right down the middle. Dan looked at it, goodbye. They threw it to first, must be the catcher dropped it. Yeah, yeah. I must, didn't, it didn't I look didn't it to me, it. I, didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see that. Must have dropped it, threw it to first, and I don't think anybody saw it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but there's two outs now. Runners on second and third. Hazen looking to bring them home here. Yeah, Jake looking to find a hole here, Jake Davison. Ooh, nice rip. Nice Jake, rip. Jake's had some really good swings today. He got a piece of that one. Fouled it off in the catcher's mitt. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Ball low. 
Rooney on third, Menard on second. Love nothing better than to come in. Here's a 1-1 one -one pitch. High, ball two. You gotta wonder, John, thinking ahead here, if Rooney will be back on the mound this inning or, or uh, this game coming back, if he's gonna go deeper. I think if they score two here, he might come out, but yeah. I think if they don't, he might pitch one more. Oh, there's a cut by Davison. Brings the count two and two, so deuce is wild right now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch, ball, full count. No, first base is open, so the runners won't be going, but look for them to take a little extra lead on a 3-2 count. Menard well off second base. There's a bit foul ball, Davison hanging tough. Yeah, good battle by Jake. I'll tell you, the Hazen hitters, not only are they putting the ball in play today compared to last Saturday, but they're battling hard too, fouling a lot off, making some good contact. They are, they are. There's a pitch. Oh, there's a pop fly to left field. Let's see what happens. It's short, short stops going out, plays a win, can't get it. Rooney comes in to score. Menard comes in to score. Davis is on first with a single. That was a tough ball to catch. That was like in no man's land. That was, good attempt by their shortstop, but you know, that was high in the air and with this wind oh. swirling around. And he, had, and he had to go a long ways to get it. He did. So now Hazen up eight to nothing. Bottom of the second. You have Jake Hayden at bat here. So basically they batted around again this inning. Yeah, yes. Good eye by Jake on that one. Inside. Davison on first. Two outs. Probably won't be running. Doesn't want to run into an out. The pitch. Nice rip there. Yeah, good swing by Jake. And, and you know, being a freshman, your first varsity game, got to be some nerves going on oh, out yeah. there. Yeah. Anxious to get that first hit. Oh, definitely. Ball outside. Two and one. Oh, somebody lost a drink. Oh, stuff's blowing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two and one, two outs. There's a pitch. Ball three, three and one. Jake ahead in the count here. Here's a 3-1 pitch, two outs. Strike two, brings the count to three and two now. So watch for the runner on first to take off. Let's see if he try to hold him a little closer. Or is he gonna come right at the hitter? Coming right at the hitter, there goes the runner. Ball four. Oops. And, yep, good at bat by Jake getting, getting on base. Yep. Good job drawing that walk. And you have Brendan Moody up. Brendan Moody batting for the second time this inning. Hazen on top, eight to nothing. Here's the pitch to Moody. He puts that one in play. Right to the shortstop, he bobbles it. Bobbles it again, everybody's gonna be safe. That was hit solid by Moody there. That was hit solid. Knocked down by the shortstop, but he couldn't corral it. So now we've got the bases loaded for Jaden Baker. Two outs, eight to nothing. Nazan on top already. And Baker could really break it open with a base hit here. Ball high. Again, Williamstown had a game, at least one game this week, so their pitching depth may not quite be there. There's a fly, there's a pop fly. That thing might drop. That thing might drop if it stays fair, and it did. It stayed fair right on the line. One run in. Here's a second run in. 
That ball, when it left the bat, looked like it was between first and second base. Looked like it was going to drop right in front of the right fielder. Yeah. The wind took it and almost blew it foul. It is. It looked like that was going to be fair easily, and yep. then that wind. And then when it came down, we didn't know if it was going to be fair or not. So that makes the score 10-0. Runners on first and third. Two outs. Here's Rebard, who's tripled twice already yeah, today. He's already ripped two of them today. You know Baker's probably going to go on this first pitch. No, he's staying tough. And there's a rip up the middle by Rebard. Center field to field it. Baker around second. Never hesitate. Goes on, goes on to third. So Rebard with a solid single. Another hit for Tyler. Three on the day. He's striking it really well. He is not even waiting. He sees that first pitch and he is tagging it. 11 nothing. Hazen on top. Runners at first and third. Still two outs at the bottom of the second. And James is up now. James Montgomery. He's had a great day at the plate. Two RBIs and a triple and a single. I'd like to see him get a double. Then we'd be hoping for the cycle, wouldn't we, Mike? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> There's the pitch. Montgomery jumps on the first one, puts it sky high. First baseman is under it, and he's got it. Ends the inning. Again, a difficult play there with the wind blowing, but that ends the inning. So we've played two here at Hazen, and it's the Wildcats 11, the Blue Devils nothing. Okay, we're just about ready to start the third inning here. I'm John Lucia along with Mike Baker. You're watching the Hazen Union Wildcat versus the Williamstown Blue Devils. We're in the third inning, top of the third. Williamstown's gone down one, two, three, both the first and second inning. Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. And Mike, you called it. We got a new pitcher in. And uh, Andrew Menard, a junior here. Andrew, over the course of his career, has really shown that he can throw strikes. He really throws the ball accurately. And we, we have a new third baseman for Hazen, number six. Do you know who that is, Mike? Oh, that's Lyle Rooney. I oh, believe he just it's moved over at third. He just, just moved to third, okay. Yeah. Menard's first pitch to number seven, Luke. Lucas Donahue, the second baseman. Andrew ahead, one nothing. Andrew working quickly. Nice wind up there. Strike two. So quickly behind 0 and 2, Donahue looking to make a little contact here against Menard. Strike three, just like that. There's another strikeout. On three pitches, Menard gets his first out. Yep. Andrew, Andrew throws strikes. My yeah. grandson found that out last year when he came yeah. up. <laughs> First time he got up, he did get a hit, but boy, he knew Menard was throwing strikes. There's another strike. I remember watching him play. He, he had a great hit in that game. He Best did. hit of the game for Lamoille. Yeah. So Menard with five pitches and five strikes, quickly ahead 0-2 here to Jack Keyes, the right fielder for Williamstown. Menard working quickly. He's on it. Strike three, and just like that, six pitches and two outs. And uh, Mike, if we get yeah, three more, you yeah. know what that's called, the don't immaculate you? Immaculate inning. <laughs> so you don't a, see that very much. You don't see that very often. So here's Caleb Keogh, number 11, the center fielder for Williamstown. Menard, oh, threw his first ball. I want to blame you, John. Yeah. We, we jinxed jinx him, him bringing jinxed it up. <laughs> that was a tough one for the hitter to lay off. That too, was. But he did. Ball two. And so Keo ahead two to nothing. Two and nothing. Menard with a 2 0 pitch. Oh, a little bit low. Ball three. Yeah, just missing on those. There's a strike right down the heart. So three and one now on the number nine hitter for Williamstown, number 11, Caleb Keogh. Ball four. So Williamstown with a two out runner here. Um, you know, trying to make something happen with two outs. That's their first runner of the day. Still without a hit. This is Isaac Sweet. The left fielder, he reached on an error uh, by Tyler Wright Rebard, the shortstop. What? There goes the Williamstown runner. There's a throw from Montgomery. A little bit to the left of the base. 
The runner slides in safe. So Williamstown now with a runner in scoring position. Boy, James has a gun though. He does threw that on a line down yeah. there. Yeah. The ball. Williamstown looking to get on the board here with a little, a little base hit. There's a slow roller to short, scooped up by Rivard, throws over to first, and there's the out. And just like that, Williamstown goes down, and that ends the third inning with Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. Well, we knew Hazen came into the game with, with pretty strong fielding and real good pitching with Rooney that we saw so far. Menard looked good, um, but the bats were a question. And going into next week with a big game against Peoples, um, Hazen should have a little confidence now, but they're gonna need some bats yeah. if they face Ben. And you know, confidence is such a huge part of hitting. When you get up there and feel like you're gonna hit it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, because they know if they, when they face Peoples, the Peoples pitcher will come right at them. Yeah, and he, so here it is, see if you can hit it. <laughs> yes, yep, yep. He did, he did a great job last year in the championship game. He was, you know, as good as I've seen in high school around here for a while. Yeah, as I understand it, he's already got a Division I scholarship. Yeah. I think he really works at it, John. From yeah. what I've heard, he's, he's working on it year round. Boy, I like watching him pitch. He's got good form, you know, good mechanics. And, you know, even though he's on the opposing team, you still root for him. Hope they do well, you know, they're from Vermont. People talk about his fastball, but he's also in the championship game. He threw some, you know, great curves, some great off-speed stuff. Well, when you can throw high 80s and low 90s and then come in there with an off-speed pitch at like 65 or 70, that's quite a speed differential yeah. right there. Yeah, and of course, Peoples is playing in Division Two for baseball this yeah. year with a combination of um, Stowe and Morrisville kids. And here's Lyle Rooney. Lyle single twice and has a couple RBIs. Takes ball one. We're just in the bottom of the third here. Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. Rooney with a solid two innings. Um, Hasn't given up a hit this year yet, Mike. Oh, he hasn't, has no, he? No, he hasn't given up a hit. He's pitched seven innings, no hits so Pretty far. great start to the season. Good start. Rooney with a contact at third base. Oh, first base, third base and picks it, throws it's a bouncer. Oh, he beat it out. Uh, good hustle by Rooney. Out. Good hustle. Third base a little slow on the throw. Did pick it tough off the grass, so. So Rooney on first. We'll see at 11 to nothing if uh, Hazen's still running. Yeah, that's a good question, John. We have Andrew up. Andrew's re reached twice, first time on an air, second time on a walk. Rooney not looking to go. Hazen not looking to run it up. You know, you, you can't stop a kid from hitting. You can't stop a kid from running, you know, the bases, but you can do things like not steal. Right. Not, not rub it in anybody's face or right. anything. Ooh. Yeah, and with that 10 run lead or 11 run lead yeah. now. But. Well, you not only that, but you know, you don't want to, you don't want to run up, look like you're running up the score, but you also, you know, if Rooney happened to slide into second base on a steal attempt, you know, sprain an ankle or break an ankle or yeah. something like that, it's yes. like, why are you even running in yeah. this situation? You know, it's different if it's a two to one game or something, you got to play, but you know, don't take necessary, unnecessary chances. Oh, that's a great point, John. There's a fly ball. It's going to end up way foul in that wind. Curving right around the backstop oh almost. <laughs> that started almost down the line and ended up out of play. Ended up on the soccer field. But. <laughs> yeah. So a ball and two strikes. On Menard. Ooh, almost took, almost went around, but brings the count to two and two. <laughs> yeah. 
Andrew Menard who's now pitching. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. Rooney not going. Ball. Rooney not even going on the fastball. So that brings the count three and two. We got nobody out. Rooney on first. Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. Menard looking to hit one of the gaps here. Big gap in right center. Ball four, no chance here. Rooney just jogs to second. He's not going to third. Menard having a solid game today. Boy, I like watching him play third base. He is, he's, like he's a tough third he base. Is, he is. I played third base, so I'm a little partial to that. <laughs> but, no. but boy, he's tough over there defensively. And he's alert. He's on the balls of his feet, and he's ready to play. I like watching him play third. Yeah, there's not much that gets by him over there. No, it's quick reflexes. Foul ball. Uh-oh, somebody in the crowd's better catch it. Oh. I don't think it hit anybody. Nope, had people, had people scattering. Yeah, the ball comes back. <laughs> so that's 0-1. <laughs> this is Dan DeGroze there. What's he done so far? Right. Dan's um, reached on air and struck out his last time. Puts another one, foul ball. Dan making contact now. He's, uh, you know, like I, we were talking about the first game, Dan had a hot streak last year where he was crushing everything. So definitely a capable hitter up here. Uh, he'd like to find that groove again, I bet. Good chance for him right here with runners on first and second. Nobody out. 0-2 the count. Reaches up, touches that one. It's going to be a fly ball to the first baseman, and he catches it. Boy, that was a good catch with, by their first right baseman there, staying with that hot. Well, pop you, up. You, you can watch them, the way they're circling around there. You know that wind's playing tricks up there with that ball. Because that was up in the air. But that brings it one out. Runner still on first and second. So now there's a conference at the mound. Is this... This is not Jake Davis and up to hit. It doesn't look like... No, Spencer Howard, Coach Spencer Howard just went down and made the substitution. Yeah. This might be Alex Boley. Alex Boley, he's another one of the freshmen. He's he must freshman. be pitch hitting here for yeah. Jake Davison. Of course, Jake had a single his last at bat, so an opportunity for um, Alex to get up here and get some swings in. Coach Revard's out there talking to the runners, saying, you know, nothing crazy on the bases. Don't worry about taking too many extra bases. Don't double steal or anything like that. Yeah. I love the way Hazen plays the game. I love the way their coaches take charge of the game and control it. They got a real good coaching staff. No, it's great. Um, very experienced coaches that know their stuff. I hope they're able to keep the program going. Um, numbers are going to be an issue. Yeah, we have a lot of seniors graduating this yeah. year. And we don't have a feeder program. There's no JV, no junior high. Um, we have the Little League and the Babe Ruth, and that's about it. And one of the advantages these guys had is when they were in middle school, there was enough of them that there was a middle school team. And I was, as I was saying, that's one of the only Hayes and Middle School baseball teams that I remember. So that was really good for those guys, and I yeah. think that's part of the reason for their success now um, having those middle school um, teams and being able to play. I know last year Lamoille was down on numbers. A couple three eighth graders were on the varsity. Um, but their middle school team had like 19 players or something. So, you know, everybody has a down year and they go through a cycle. But it looks like Lamoille could be on the rise. Um, yeah, that's got to be very encouraging to their future and their coaching staff to have that many young kids playing. Yeah. So, new pitcher here for Williamstown. This was the third baseman. It's like a big, strong kid here, John. Yeah, I, think, I believe it's Colby Lagener. He was at third. Okay, Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. And as 10 rule, 10 run rules in play, looking to 
you know, maybe extend the lead a little bit, give them a little more cushion. I think the Hayes and staff would be happy to uh, see this game only go five. Yes. Yep. Save, save some pitching innings. So they got a big week coming up next week. So who is this again? So again, Alex Boley, freshman Alex Boley. here. And uh, definitely Good excited to be up there yeah. getting his first um, high school at bat. Good of the coaching staff to work those freshmen in. It is. All high. So the freshman looking to put one in play here and move the runners over, maybe score one. There's a good pitch right there. Well, that was a good pitch. That uh, pitcher not throwing very hard. No, nope. accurate on that one. But it could throw the timing off of some yeah. of the hitters after facing a little bit of a fastball before. Oh, wild swing there. It's one of those high ones, <laughs> eye level. It looks so good, but so hard to hit. Yeah. So one and two the count on the freshman. Here's a pitch. A little bit behind him there, high and behind him a little. Makes the count to two and two. Oh, right down the heart of the plate. Strike three called. Freshman goes down on strikes. Yeah, nice pitch there. And you have Jake Hayden at, up now, another freshman. Another freshman. Jake reached his last time good at bat, drawing a walk. Uh, sun's coming out a little bit, Mike. Wind might die down a little, hopefully. Hopefully. Just, <laughs> just we get ready to leave, probably. <laughs> Here's a pitch. Ball high. John Lucia here along with Mike Baker bringing you the action between Hazen and Williamstown today. We're only in the bottom of the third inning. Hazen already on top three to nothing with a threat going again. There's a cut. Well, we got two outs here in the bottom of the third. Runners on first and second. Andrew Menard has come in to pitch for Lyle Rooney. Rooney with uh, Two no-hit innings, brings his total to seven no-hit innings. Oh, there's a cut, good pitch. Yeah, good swing by Jake. Oh and two, uh, one and two, excuse me, the count. Two outs, Williamstown looking to get out of this inning. The pitch, ball high. The 2-2 pitch on its way. Strike three, goes down swinging. That brings the third inning to a close, but Hazen comfortably on top, leading Williamstown 11 to nothing. I want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors again. Again, you're watching it on HCTV channel 1080, or you can stream it at www.hctv.us. Today's broadcast being brought to you by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics, and by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, Jumpstart Your Future, and their applications are now open for any GMTCC programs, and they got a list of them. So if you're interested at all, give them a call. Okay, we get ready to start the top of the fourth inning. Hazen on top of Williamstown, 11 to nothing. I'm John Lucier, subbing for Lance Hall today. He'll be back, do the games during the week, uh, along with Mike Baker. And Brady Donahue, number 15, the shortstop, is leading off for Williamstown. Williamstown looking for its first base hit of the game. Andrew Menard with a fastball, but it's high and outside, ball one. Donahue grounded out to Tyler Rebark, six to three, shortstop last time up. Swing and a miss, boy, Menard looks like he's throwing hard out there. He Mike. is, he's throwing good. A one, one pitch. There's a pop fly to right field. Oh, drops in front of the wind, took that one. So Williamstown with their first base hit as Donahue puts one out into right field. Yeah. That was a tough hit. That was a good spot. You can even see on tough plays like that, Hazen, Hazen players encouraging one another. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Great group of guys. Now batting will be Colby Lagener. He was started at third, he's pitching now. There's a pitch by Menard, blows it right by him, strike one. That was a good pitch. That was an almost unhittable pitch for yeah. a little bit to the outside corner. Andrew can really throw the ball. Oh, off-speed pitch. Strike two. Just like that, he's ahead of Lagener, 0-2. So is that Williamstown's first hit of the day, John? First hit is of the day. First, and, and that was didn't come till the fourth inning. Oh, the runner takes off. There's a throw, not in time. Revard tried to sweep tag. Didn't know, probably wouldn't have got him anyways, but he just tried out of desperation. So now Williamstown has Brady Donahue at second base. Lagener behind one and two. Hazen very willing to trade bases for outs right now. Ball low, two and two. Bernard working from the stretch. There's a pitch, high. So 0 and two quickly becomes three and two. Runner on second already for Williamstown. Andrew Menard would love to put this header away. There's a pitch, right there. Strike yep. three, call, uh, swinging. Yep. Good pitch by Menard. Went right after him on the three-two count. That's Menard's third strikeout. Rooney had three strikeouts, so that's six strikeouts for Hazen pitching. And we're only in the fourth inning. And that brings up Jameson Lacerno. He was the pitcher, starting pitcher. Ball gets by Montgomery. The runner's going. This could be close. Have a chance. There's an arm. No. Just beats it. Had a chance. So now Williamstown's got a runner on third with one out. Cerno looking to pick his guy up. <laughs> Boy, that wind that is whipping. That wind is something. <laughs> One old pitch, high. It's by Montgomery, but no advance. You know, if Lance Hall was here today, he'd be talking about the vortex on Hall Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two and zero oh now, quickly. To Lucerno. All three low. Menard looking to find that strike zone again here. 3-0 pitch, runner on third for Williamstown. One out. There's a strike. Oh, oh, no. boy. Oh. Boy, it looked pretty good. That, that looked pretty good. Looked like it had the corner. So now that brings up Brent Jangra. I'm not sure, John, if they down 11, if Williamstown is aggressive here and tries to send the guy at first. Well, if they do, it would be interesting to see if Hazen throws yeah, down. I would say that they would. They go. There's the go. But they aren't going to throw on that pitch. Yeah. Ball one. So now Williamstown has runners at second and third. One out. Brent Jangra up. He grounded out to uh, Tyler at short. Six to three. And his only time up so far. And Williamstown just going through the lineup for the second time. And I think going back to that first and third situation, I think if there was a different pitch, like a better pitch to throw on, James was going to throw I think he was going to throw. It looked like he was trying to come up. Yep. Yep. Either that or they would have had a pickoff play or something. Some people will whip it to the shortstop charging in, yes. trying to catch the runner yep. off guard. And uh, William Sound with two guys in scoring position. and um, But Andrew, Andrew is Really good pitcher there, and I think he's going to come back throwing strikes here. This little break could help settle yep. it down just a little bit. Take a deep breath. and Here's a 1-0 pitch. Ball high. 2-0. Another ball high. Seems on those last two, John, he's fallen off a little bit. Not taking a long enough stride. No, release no. points up a little bit. Yeah. 
Ball four. So that's two in a row that Williamstown have had walk to get on base. So that's gonna bring up number eight. Oh, whoops, we got a sub now. This is Jason Bernor, number five, his first appearance. Bernard with a the pitch, there's a strike. The old one pitch is on its way. Strike two, Bernard right. back on it now to Jason Bernor. The 0-2 pitch. Strike three. All right. Another strikeout for Andrew. He's back on it. That brings it to two outs. So now Williamstown has the bases loaded. Top of the fourth inning. Two outs. And Lucas Donahue is the second baseman. At bat, trying to pick up some RBIs here. And Hazen would love to get out of this inning with an 11-0 lead still. There's a pitch right down the middle. Four strikes in a row for Andrew. He seems to have he found it again. Settle down. That ball a little bit inside. Andrew with four strikeouts already. Rooney had three, so he got seven strikeouts. Runners lead, here's the pitch, fouled off. Andrew ahead now, one and two with two outs. He can throw what he wants here. We'll see if he can end the threat. Oh, tried an off speed, oh, right back. That's what, what that, back that short back, short back stop. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew with a little off speed pitch was a little off there. <laughs> so that brings the count to two and two. So we'll look for Menard to go right after him now. He'll go right after him now. There's a pitch, a little bit high, but swung on and missed. Strike three, that ends the fourth inning. Hazen on top of Williamstown, 11 to nothing. Okay, here we go. Ready to start off the bottom of the fourth. Hazen on top, 11 to nothing. With Brendan Moody at bat. Brendan's reach base is first two times. Moody looking to lead it off. Hazen would like to get a couple more runs just to pad that lead so they could end it next inning, hopefully. Here's the pitch. Moody lets it go by, floats in there for a strike. Moody, I think, was looking at that one all the way because yep. this uh, pitcher throws a little bit different speed than the previous Does. pitcher. So they needed to get a look at it. Now Moody's ready. Yep, fouls it straight up. Catcher's got a chance. That's going to be a tough one, though. Oh, he oh, got it, though. Play. He got it. And you know, John, we are saying slower pitching doesn't even always equate to easier for the hitters. No, it sure doesn't. So Moody fouls out to the catcher on a nice play with a swirling win. Jaden Baker up, the center fielder. Boy, that pitch looked pretty good. To yeah, me, yeah. A little inside maybe, but boy, you can tell the difference in speed. I bet there's 10, 15 miles an hour difference between him and the first pitcher. And that can throw the hitters off. Boy, another one that just missed. They must be inside because he's taking them and it, yeah. it's not even a question. So that brings the count to 2 0 to Baker. Baker looking to drive one here. There it goes. Ground ball at the middle, right over the second base bag for a base hit. Solid single for Jaden Baker. Jaden Baker takes a wide turn. If there was a bobble, he was going. So now Hayes has got a runner on first. And who we got up now? Tyler Revard. Tyler's had a big day, a couple triples, a single, and two RBIs, so he's been seeing the ball really well today. The outfielders are backing up just a little bit more each time he comes up. Revard, boy, he'd love to hit one of those gaps right now. Baker dancing off first, daring a throw, but he's not going. I think I'd have him back even a little bit further. Yeah, <laughs> I would do. And don't forget, Tyler's last hit over onto the bank there. Here's the pitch. Revard drives another one. Going to drop in there for a base hit. Baker's going to come all the way to third. Whoa, goes back now. 
Uh, <laughs> Baker was two thirds the way to third, made the wide decision to go back. It's a good thing Tyler didn't take off for second. <laughs> but Revard with another base hit. Yeah, pitch in on his hands, but he managed to fight it off into short left there. Just to illustrate how hard he hit that triple last inning. The wind is blowing in strongly, and he put it to the bank. He did. He, he got that. He got it. So runners on first and second now. One out. And Montgomery's up. James is two for three today with a couple RBIs. He's, and been, he, he's been solid at the plate today. Yes, he, he, he. Okay, Tyler didn't go to he, second on that. Jaden automatically, as a reflex, went to third. And I think Spencer is telling him, you know, we don't need to be doing that. Yeah, just but uh, when you're you, used to playing in a certain oh, way, it's, it's, it's hard automatic. to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It's hard to hold them down. But runners at first and third now for Hazen. Montgomery, there goes Revard. Oh, they had a play on. So, yeah, we saw saw steal a second in this situation. Yeah. So. You know, Hazen may be trying to get a couple more oh, runs on the board to open it up and yeah, hopefully after, end it in five innings. So. After last inning, when Williamstown had that threat, Hazen is look, looking to put a couple more runs on the board. So Montgomery looking to drive one here. Ball four. No advance by the runners. And that first at bat for James, he really hit that triple hard. He got he all did. of that one. Count now 3-0. and oh. Let's see if he's got the green light. I'd give it to him if it was me. Oh, definitely, the way he's definitely. Been hitting, the way he's been hitting, yep. he sees a pitch he likes. Oh, I agree with you 100%. All he's got to do is put it in play, and there's one run. Oh, he took it all the way, ball four. So that loads the bases. And here comes Lyle Rooney. Lyle's reached all three times today, a couple singles and reached on an error. Takes the first pitch, it's a ball. Bobbled around by the catcher, no advance. So one and oh. So even a walk right now forces in a run. But Rooney would love to put this ball in play. He would. And really good speed on the bases for Hazen. At all three bases. All three bases, and at the plate too. Ooh, boy, Rooney almost took that one. He wanted it. He did. Laid off it, but it's called strike, so it's one and one now. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Way high to the backstop. No advance by the runners. And it is, this is a short backstop. It is. It was really interesting going to Centennial in the finals. That backstop is back <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. Rooney ahead, two and one here. Here's a pitch. Ball outside. That makes a count three and one. Pitcher's got to come to him or we're going to score a run here. You know Rooney really wants to take a swing here. He does. Here's a 3-1 pitch on its way. Ball four yeah. low. Good eye by Lyle. That forces and in a run. Another RBI for him. Baker comes in to score. That makes it 12 to nothing. And... Andrews also reached all three times, reached on an error and a couple walks. So we've got one out here, Andrew Menard out. Bases are juiced for Hazen. Here's the pitch. Strike one called. After four straight balls, you know Menard is going to force him to throw a strike before he swung. Now Menard will be ready. He could really blow it open here. Oh, hit the plate, foul ball, strike two. So the pitcher's ahead 0-2 now. One out, Hazen on top, 12 to nothing. Looking to pad the lead a little bit more. Bottom of the fourth here. Ooh, a little bit high. Andrew laid off, one and two. Two and two, ball high. Andrew's showing a good eye, laying off that high pitch. Showing a good eye and 
good patience. That ball coming in at that speed, boy, would be tempted to swing at it. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ball three high. Andrew's working his, his way back in this count. Going from 0-2 to 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three two, one out. Big pitch right here for both teams. There's a ball to third base. Third baseman steps on third, gets one out, but a run does come across. Right, Tyler Revired scored. Third good job, base. good job by Andrew putting it into play and getting her RBI. Get another run home on a fielder's choice. Third baseman took a sure out at third. Runners at first and second now for Dan DeGrosier. And Dan looking at that big gap in right center field is my guess. Ball one high. Hazen on top now, 13 to nothing. And very patient at the plate, takes ball two. Two and nothing to the girls here, two outs here, bottom of the four, uh, uh, yeah, bottom of the fourth. Pitch down and out. 3-0. and oh. They do have a base open. A few walks here, but it'll load the bases. 3-0 and oh count. See if he's got the green light. Uh, they don't have to worry about it on that pitch. So ball four. Bases are juiced again. And this is Alex Boley up again. Alex um, struck out in his first varsity at bat. Boy, good time for a freshman to put the ball in play here. Yeah, we got the bases loaded, great opportunity. First pitch, ball high. Again, he pitch hit for Jake Davison. Who, Jake had a single today, had a good game. Solid at first too. There's a good pitch right there, strike one. One and one now to the freshman. Swing and a miss, strike two. Pitcher quickly ahead, one and two now. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth, Hazen on top, 13 nothing. Here's a one two pitch. Oh, there's a wrap up the middle for a base hit. Wow. Oh, he's going to get two RBIs out of this. <laughs> oh, freshman gets his first hit with the bases loaded, drives in two. Wow, what an exciting moment. And that pitch was up about shoulder high, but he tagged it. He did. <laughs> he tagged it right up the middle. Solid single. That's great. Brings the score up 15 to nothing. You know he's feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> well, that's awesome. We have Jake Hayden up. Another freshman getting some time today. Takes a strike. Like you were saying earlier, John, it's good to see these freshmen out here getting some swings and get some confidence too. You can't tell me Alex doesn't have some confidence right now. Oh, oh there's a good swing. Strike two, 0 and 2 here. Two outs. He's in on top now, 15 nothing. Ball high. Good eye, good eye on that, laying off the high stuff. Another ball high, two and two now. Deuces wild, two, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the fourth. He's in the head of Williamstown, 15 to nothing. There's a pitch. A little bit low. Good job by Jake. Count was 0-2, working it back to 3-2. Yeah, that pitch was pretty close. That was, didn't miss by take. much. It was low, it was a good pitch to take. So here's a 3-2 pitch, runners are going. There's strike three, goes down swinging, that ends the fourth inning. But your Hazen Wildcats are on top of your Williamstown Blue Devils, 15 to nothing.
Okay, we're about ready to start the fifth inning. Uh, we got a new pitcher on the mound. We got some other changes, Mike. And we have um, Jake Hayden now over at third base. Andrew Menards moved to second, and our second baseman, Brendan Moody, is now pitching for the Wildcats. Okay, leading off for Williamstown here in the bottom of the fifth is Jack Keyes, the right fielder. He struck out his first time up. We're in the fifth inning, and Williamstown is just going through the lineup for the second time. First pitch from Moody is a strike. Nice looking pitch from Brendan. Sophomore. Transfer from Peoples. Ooh, ball in low right there. Moody throwing fairly hard. Yeah, he was a member of that championship team at Peoples last year. There's a foul ball out of play. Coach Upson going for the catch over there. <laughs> Almost had it. Almost had it. And it's, it's great to see, um, you know, Opie's kids and Spencer's kids here oh, yeah. at the game. And uh, Moody bounces that one in. See Opie's son down there, ball boy or yeah. bat boy for the team. Two and two the count on Keys, the right fielder. Moody comes in with a pitch. Strike three, nice heat there. Another strikeout for the Hayes Union staff. And Mike, we've seen today a little bit of the depth that uh, Hazen has at pitching. Uh, we really, Hazen has five solid pitchers that they can go to at any time. Now batting Caleb Keogh, the center fielder. He walked the first time, takes a strike. Moody working quickly as most Hazen pitchers do. And like you talked about the last game, helps keep fielders on their toes when they're working fast and throwing strikes. It does, it does. Ball one there. Hazen on top, 15 to nothing. I'm John Lucier along with Mike Baker. I'm subbing for Lance today. He'll be back. Strike two there. Hopefully he comes back when on a rainy, cold day. I don't ah. have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> One and two the count on Keogh. Center fielder for Williamstown. Off-speed pitch. Broke in there. It bent him over. So that's two, two batters up, two batters down by the way of the strikeout. So we go back to the top of the order now. This is number seven, Isaac Sweet. Um, he grounded out six to third, six to three last time, six to third. Six to three, takes a strike. So Williamstown with only one hit in the game today, just going through the lineup the third time here in the fifth inning. Moody pitching strong. There's a ground ball over there. Well, good Freshman play. picks it up. Good throw by out. Jake Hayden on that one. Good play by Jake. Nice. So just like that, Moody sets him down with two Ks and a ground down very quickly. And I think with this 10 run rule, John, yeah, we that's are done. Do it. Again, I want to thank our sponsors before we go away here. Uh, you're watching us on HCTV channel 1080. Uh, sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. This is John Lucier along with Mike Baker. Thank you, Mike. It's been a pleasure working you know, with you. You also, John. Hope and I get another chance sometime. And uh, good luck to Hazen next week. Thank you very much for watching the broadcast. Have a good day, everyone.